How you doing? Brick rocket stove, cast iron waffle maker. What do you think? Ready? Ready. Let's go. From our used brick collection. So we have made a bunch of rocket stoves in this series and now we're gonna cook on a rocket stove. And I thought what better thing than waffles, right? No better thing than waffles. So uh. rocket stove waffles, it just sung to me. So <laughs> we're gonna make a waffle maker. How many layers are you going up? I don't remember. <laughs> so, so there's an in-depth video about how to build the improved rocket stove. So I'm just gonna put it together while talking to you about how much I love waffles. <laughs> I think the camera operator can attest to my love of waffles. I can. With our homemade maple syrup, bunch of videos about making your own maple syrup, link at the end of the show and in the show notes. So I deeply researched, in other words, I worked on making rocket stoves for quite a while and this is design I like. If you've watched any of Garden Fork, you know that I love fire and I love cooking and I thought, let's try and mash up outdoor fire with cast iron cooking, which is a big fave of mine. And um, that's this video. So I want you to come along for the ride. Stick around to the end, we'll see if I can really make a waffle or not. For lunch. Out of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm using clay brick. If you have questions about that, you're gonna have to watch the other video because I'm not gonna answer you in this one. Wait, I have a question. You're not gonna, uh, do I have to go back and watch the videos too? Yeah. <laughs> you wanna help me build this? Do you? Uh, <laughs> someone's gonna like the waffle. <laughs> Last row of brick. Fire up the fire. What did that take, like three minutes? Four. Okay. Ooh. I found this on the street. <laughs> that's, that's supposed to split really nicely and it doesn't. <laughs> Somebody likes splinters. <laughs> splinters. <laughs> What's another trip to the vet, you know? There we go. Oh, Andy, I don't think we can wait for that. Crinkle your paper up. Not too tight, not too loose. So the idea of a rocket stove is it's a small combustion space, forcing the air in here going up and heating up like to make pasta or waffles or something. If you want to really blow this up, you can make a rocket stove furnace to heat your house if you want. <laughs> I don't want it. We haven't done that. No, <laughs> no ideas. Tinier pieces, the better. Dry wood is very important here. Um, charcoal does not work for this. This is gonna be, I'm excited. I love waffles. It's gonna snow like 12 inches in a couple days, so this will be perfect. Let's light this up. You can use matches, it's just it's so windy out here right now, I brought the torch out. Let that go. Nice, huh? Nice. So we're just gonna be keep on putting sticks in here, slowly pushing the ones that are burning in, and then putting new ones in. This is all pallet wood. I mean, it's been snowing and raining here, so all my wood out in the woods is all wet. So I'm breaking into my uh, maple syrup evaporator wood pile. Don't tell the evaporator that. But someone's been hoarding wood all year. I wouldn't know who that is, but pallet wood works. Just split this up, goes in. Ooh, the moment. You know, actually, we don't even need the grate. I th do you think it'd be okay for this just to be right on the brick? Does it need that gap or? You ask, asking me or them? Oh, you. Well, you know I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's there's that risk of burning the waffle versus cooking the waffle. Let's try it like this and see what happens. Okay. Better safe than sorry in the waffle department. 
Isn't this cool? It's in here. You're outside and you're making waffles. The wind is howling. Come on, come on, out, out, out. My helpers are very interested. This is a yeasted overnight dough waffle batter. Ooh. Really simple to make. Uh, from Mark Bittman's How to Cook Everything, I'll put the recipe in the notes below the video, but super simple. So we're gonna, we're gonna fluff up the whites. They're supposed to have peaks, but I think we're gonna, you know, done is better than perfect in Garden Fork. I really want a waffle right now, so. But you want air. We're getting some wood ash in the egg whites, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> so I think that the cooking grate is is uh, not needed. Why? It's keeping the fire. It's taking too long. <laughs> oh, and the fire has died down. I gotta womp the fire back up. Nope. That was clunky. <laughs> So just adding in some more wood, you really have to keep on top of adding the wood because the wood burns like, a, wood like a rocket. <laughs> Break oh. the egg yolks. Oh, you got some more of those speckles. I'm That's speckles. just for, uh, well, people take charcoal like a vitamin, you know? I've seen it in the vitamin store, charcoal. Who does? People go to health food stores. <laughs> this is not health food. It okay. looks lumpy. Is that okay? Want a new name. That's totally okay with me. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna waffle your hand? Yeah, that needs to be a little hotter, so. Are you looking at the batter? Ooh. <laughs> hey, 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 ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Oh, Andy. <laughs> Nice try. All right, so the bottom, this side is preheated. Ooh, nice flame, huh? Nice, yeah. So now we're gonna heat up the other side of the cast iron griddle, and we're this close to waffle time. <laughs> I love waffles. <laughs> oh, that's smoking hot. Stand um, back. I'll link to this cast iron waffle iron if you wanna buy one. So the trick here is enough batter, but not too much batter. If we have too much batter, it overflows. So, um, about to be too much. Sizzling. How many minutes? You don't know. Waffle overspill. You have to have faith in fire. <laughs> Look how the batter has pushed the waffle iron open. Yeah. So it's kind of icy brown on the edges there, so I think we're gonna flip it, okay? Do you think that it needs the same amount of time on both sides or one side less than the other? I think the second side is faster, but I'm just getting the waft of waffle here. <laughs> is your mouth watering? <laughs> this and maple syrup, you're out in the woods. I'll be drooling like a lab at any moment now. <laughs> this thing likes to eat wood. I think it's waffle time, what do you think? I think it's... Waffle experiment time. <laughs> Life's a big experiment, so here we go. <laughs> the moment. Ooh, so uneven. <laughs> In an...
Who would say no to a little bit more waffle, you know? You're gonna pick the medium side or the dark side or the light side? The medium side. <laughs> it's a waffle. <laughs> this is beautiful. The recipe is below. <laughs> if I can do this, you can do this. And if you want to spend some more time with me in my rocket stoves and cooking. <laughs> Think twice. <laughs> right here. Me and you together. Next video. That's delicious. <laughs>